Hi there, my name is Mr. Johns and welcome to Dance and Drama Matters. Our question today is, how can I use empathy to improvise a character? So our learning intention today is we will use empathy to improvise a character in a situation. And you will know you're successful if you can improvise how a character would react to a situation by putting yourself in their shoes. You have all done such an amazing, incredible job so far imagining and developing new characters. You have even acted out the place in which your action takes place in your drama. Great work! Today we're going to improvise and act out how a character might be feeling in a different situation. When we think about how a character might be feeling in a new situation, that's us practicing empathy. Empathy is the ability to put yourself in someone else's shoes and imagine how they might be feeling. So to practice our empathy, we need to imagine the situation that they're in and imagine what that would be like if it happened to us and how we might feel. For example, imagine if our situation was our character just won the lottery. How do you think they might be feeling about that? Well, I could start to think how might I feel about winning the lottery? And that might help me think about how my character could feel about winning the lottery. But I need to think if my character's really rich already. If my character's really rich already and owns the majority of the buildings in Australia, then I don't think they would be as excited about winning the lottery as I would be about winning the lottery because that would change my life. But for them, it might not really change their life. So you have to put yourself into their shoes and imagine how that person would feel. What about if the situation was, my character just found out they've only got three months left to live? How do you think they might be feeling about that? Let me give you an example of how we would improvise this by imagining that my character just won the lottery. How do you think they might be feeling? Well, let's practice empathy by putting ourselves into their shoes. So they could be in disbelief. It could be quite a shock to them. They could have never imagined that they would have won. They could be, they could be really excited about it because sometimes winning the lottery changes people's lives. Well, the majority of the time it does. And people only really buy a ticket for the lottery if they really need the money or they really want to win big. So I'd imagine my character would, would be really excited about it. They might even want to call their parents to tell them that they've won. Or they could even call their friends and tell their friends that they've won. I reckon my character would be really generous and would want to share their wealth around and maybe might offer that to their parents and say to their parents that they might pay off the rest of their house mortgage. But then my character could also probably get a bit worried that people are only going to like them for their money and maybe they'll start using them for their money. Oh. I'm going to have a go at improvising how my character might act after seeing that they've won the lottery on TV. I love you too. <laughs> awesome. 
Oh. Alright, I'm just gonna call Dad. Alright, All right, bye. So your task is to create a situation to react to. So you need to think up an idea like I just showed you. So your character winning the lottery. You've got to come up with a new one of those. If you're stuck, then I've got some examples for you to help you out. So you could be at the movies and your character could hear someone talking loudly during the movie. Your character could be trying to convince your boss to give them a raise. Or your character could be trying to convince a police officer that they're innocent. So choose a situation or come up with a situation and then practice empathy by putting yourself into their shoes. How might they have felt? And why do you think they felt that way? Then you need to film yourself reacting as your character to that situation. And remember to include everything you've learned about characterization so far. All right, off you go. It's time for you to improvise. Welcome back. Uh, by now you should have improvised to your situation and you should have also recorded yourself doing that so we can have a reflection. All right, so let's reflect on our task. So after watching your video, were you able to act out how your character was feeling? How were you able to do that? All right, that's all we've got time for today. Thanks so much for joining us and I'll see you next week. All right, bye.